as team manager, I'm proud to introduce one of our school's all-time gridiron greats, Gilbert Tugwell. Hey. Hey. Mr. Tugwell has gone on to win his letter in the game of life, but he still recalls the days when he captained our undefeated team of 1917. That's yeah. 1937. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 1937, that is. All right, gang. Mr. Gilbert T. for touchdown, Tugwell. Yeah. But gang, believe me, life to me is just one big football game. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, gang, gang, listen, I appreciate the fight to stay on top. And you know, that's what this team is going to do. Yeah! So gang, now I say to you, in the immortal words of old Coach Hanson, hit him high, hit him low, hit him hard, and... Go, go, go! Yeah, go, go, go! Yeah! All right, gang, here he is, our quarterback and captain, the finest athlete to ever wear the red and gold, Rock Malankovic! Yeah. Speeches, but I'll tell you one thing. We're, we're going to beat Eastern. Yeah! Meet Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair! But they're cousins. Identical cousins all the way One pair of matching bookends Different as night and day Where Kathy adores a minuet The ballet russe and crepe Suzette Our Patty loves to rock and roll A hot dog makes her lose control What a wild duet Still they're cousins Identical cousins and you find they walk alike, at times they even talk alike You can lose your mind When cousins are two of a kind Hiya, Patty. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rock. Hey, congratulations. Huh? Oh, thanks. Kath, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Rock Milankovic. How do you do? Hello. Arrested, right? What do you have, pal? Oh, nothing. I'm in training. Is, uh, Rock your real name? Mm, no. It's, um, Myron. Well, Myron's a very nice name. It's an old Greek name. Is it? Who told you? Oh, I read it somewhere. Uh, Kathy's always reading some book. She's the smartest girl in school. I'll bet. Rock, you were absolutely sensational Saturday. When you came out of that T formation and through that lateral, Thanks. that blocking. Uh, did you see the game? No, I'm afraid not. Oh. Uh, would you like to be my guest at the game next Saturday? That's very nice of you, but uh, I really don't know anything about football. <laughs> That's our cast. If you were to ask her to a chess match. I can't even play checkers. Rock, 
Level with me. How does it look for Saturday? Do you think we'll beat Central? Uh, defensively, of course, I know they're very strong. But our team has such spirit and drive. We'll clobber them. But I ask myself, what good is it? Great game. Okay, guys, grab a fast shower. Coach wants to see you. Richard! Richard, Richard, I gotta oh. talk to you. Hello, sir. What are you doing here? Well, I decided to watch practice today. And a good thing, too. Richard, what's wrong with our boy Rock? Beats me. He's been in a slump all week. Did you see that pass he dropped? I gotta call it with my teeth. Oh, is that the way you did it way back in your day? That's just an expression. And it wasn't so way back. Well, never mind about that. What's ailing rock? <laughs> You can't get through to him. Well, naturally. What's needed is someone with tact and understanding. Okay, but who do we get? <laughs> How's it going, boy? Swell, Mr. Tugwell. Everything all right at home? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you keeping up with your schoolwork? Uh-huh. Rock boy, you can level with me. What's, what's bothering you, boy? Nothing, Mr. Tugwell. Rock, I'm talking to you as if I were your own father. Yeah. You even yell like him. Excuse me, sir. I gotta go shower. I told you. There's no getting through. I don't believe it. What? I know what's bugging Rock. Look. Hey, that's Kathy Lane. Rock must have clipped this picture out of the class book. He's in love with her. Hey, our troubles are over. Go call Kathy up and tell her the good news. I don't think it's that simple, sir. I don't think Rock is Kathy's type. What do you mean, not her type? A boy who can take out three men with one block? Kathy just doesn't dig football. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Go on over and straighten her out. Okay, I'll try, but I'm telling you, Kathy just doesn't care about football. Then talk some sense into her. Tell her that she's got to start being nice to Rock, or else. Or else what? Or else we could lose every game this season. I'm sure Rock is a very nice boy. Take my word for it, Kath. He's a prince. But he just isn't my type. Kathy, nobody's asking you to marry Rock. We just want you to date him for a little while. Yeah, just till the end of the season. And suddenly drop him? That wouldn't be very nice. Well, you never know. You might get to like him. Patty, I wouldn't even know what to talk to him about. All he cares for is football. And you don't know anything about football. Okay, I'll teach you. Look, there are 11 guys on a team. Most girls and they plan a big deal with white spots all over it. And the, the main idea is to get as many You'd touchdowns as possible. You'd be the envy of the whole team. By throwing a forward pass or running with the ball. What's the reason? Patty, Richard, please listen to me. I'm not trying to be difficult. But why should I go out with Rock if I don't want to? I'll tell you why. Because you owe it to the school. The school? <laughs> Kathy, do you realize that with Rock on our team, this could be the most glorious year in the history of Brooklyn Heights High? Brooklyn Heights, my Brooklyn Because Brooklyn Heights, Heights isn't just Brooklyn classrooms Heights, for folks and home. It's a spirit, a bond, Brooklyn a sacred flame that is burning right now in all our classrooms. I mean, in our hearts. And right now, Kathy, you are the keeper of the flame. Are you going to nourish and cherish it, or are you going to let it go out and turn to bitter ashes in your mouth? Brooklyn Heights, my Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights, my Brooklyn Heights. Oh, hello, Rock. Hi. Here. For you. Oh, thank you. 
I mean, they're beautiful, but you shouldn't have. Oh, it's okay. My uncle's an undertaker. <laughs> oh. Shall we go inside? Oh, uh, thank you very much for the football tickets yesterday. Oh, did you have a good time? Oh, yes, I did. It was very interesting. It's the best game I ever played. Oh? That's because you were there, Kathy. Uh, what would you like to do today, Rock? Oh, anything you say. It's such a lovely day. Why don't we go for a walk in the park? Great. All right. Oh. We could stop at the museum. What for? Well, they're having a new exhibit of a collection of sculpture. Oh, sounds well. Do you really want to go? With you, I'd go anywhere. Oh. This one's very famous, Rock. It's called The Winged Victory. Of uh, Samothrace. That was a big naval battle, the Greeks won. Yes. How did you know that? Oh, I got an uncle who sculpts. Uh, he gave me a book about all this stuff. Oh. Oh, this one should interest you. Hey, that's okay. The guy who sculpted this sure knew what he was doing. What makes you say that? Well, you, you see how he done those muscles? He's got them bulging just right. Or... Really? Yeah, sure. You go, go on. Feel my arm. Well, all right. Oh, yes. You're very strong. Yeah. Oh, here's Mercury, the runner. Hey, you know something, Kathy? I'm having fun. I'm glad, Rock. Yeah, I, I used to, uh, I used to fool around with carving things when I was a kid. Did you? you uh, out of clay, kid stuff. Why did you give it up? Oh, I started playing football. Oh, you ought to go back to it. Nah, I'm too busy. You could find time. And just think, perhaps it would turn out that you have a real talent for sculpture. You know, my uncle said I was pretty good. I'm sure you were. Yeah, I could fix up a place in the cellar and borrow some stone from my uncle. As a sculptor? Uh, the Undertaker. He's also in the monument business. Do it, Rock. Won't it be exciting to try? Yeah. Yeah. And I know just what I'm going to sculpt first. What? You'll see. It's you. It certainly is. I feel as if I belong on Mount Rushmore. Do you like it, Kathy? Oh, it's beautiful. That's because you're beautiful. I meant it was a beautiful piece of work. Yeah, terrific. Come on, Rock, let's get over to practice. Rock? How am I going to get it home? Easy. Rock, boy, you're going to be late for practice. Come on, Kathy. I'll walk you home. You know something? I think we have an ex-football player on our hands. <laughs> since he got together with Kathy. Well, he's playing as great as usual. You know that. He's been skipping practice lately. Skipping practice? What does he think football is? A game? <laughs> Rock, you're late. 
Uh, that's right, Mr. Tugwell. I was at the Modern Museum. Modern Museum? What for? Well, Kathy took me to see the new Brancusi show. Very powerful in a non-representational idiom. What'd you say? Rock's on an artistic kick. Oh, oh, forget it, Rock. The only kick we care about is the one that starts the big game Saturday. Uh, you might as well brace yourself for a big shock right now, Mr. Tugwell. I'm not playing. What? What are you saying, boy? I'm giving up football, sir. I've decided. It's interfering with my career. Well, football is your career, boy! No longer, sir. I'm turning in my shoulder pads. You can't, Rock. Not before the big game. Richard? Here's my notebook with all the play signals. I no longer have any use for it. No. Rock, boy, where's your school spirit? Oh, I haven't lost that, Mr. Tugwell. But it's just like Kathy says. The finest thing I can do for Brooklyn Heights High is to become a great sculptor. You listen to me! You're getting excited about all this, Mr. Tugwell. I wish I could be out there with the other chaps on the playing field on Saturday, but my mind's made up. Oh, Rock, wait, wait! There must be 500 girls in this school. Why does he have to fall in love with a culture nut? <laughs> this way, Mr. Tugwell. And now, hey, and Martin, I want to work with you. Oh, good evening, Gilbert, Richard. Oh, sit down, both of you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Here, Mr. Tugwell. I'll get some coffee. What can I do for you, Gilbert? We got a problem on our hands. And she's sitting right over there. This niece of yours is destroying the career of the best athlete Brooklyn Heights High has ever had. He's talking about Rock Milenkovich, Papa. Rock also happens to have a great talent for sculpture. So this girl talked him into quitting the team on the day before the big game. Well, here's some coffee. Darling, would you take that for Richard, please? Thanks a lot, Mrs. Lane. How can you eat like that when we're facing a crisis? I gotta keep my strength up. <laughs> Exactly what do you want me to do, Gilbert? Talk sense to Kathy. Tell her to get Rock back into the ball game. Please, Papo. I've talked to her till I'm blue in the face and she won't listen to me. Patty, I cannot tell Kathy what to say to Rock. Now, you should understand that. Thank you, Uncle Martin. But without Rock, we'll be clobbered. Well, I hope not, Gilbert. But if the boy prefers art to football... Look, 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 I, I've got nothing against art. Didn't I pay for that statue of old Coach Hanson? <laughs> so you did. Well, I appreciate how you feel about it, Gilbert. Uh, believe me, I have nothing against school athletics. Oh, well, that's true, Gilbert. Back in college, Martin was captain of the baseball team. Baseball? I'm in a den of baseball players. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, the time is now one minute to midnight. You're fast. It's only 7.30. That's just an expression. Somehow we have got to get through to Rock. How? They'll only listen to Kathy. Yeah, I know. He's coming over later. That means he's probably still home in his workshop creating. So? So? Pick up that phone and dial Beachview 23598. Okay. Hey, that's Rock's number. That's right. Hello, Rock. This is Kathy. I get it. Patty, if you pull this off, the school will put up your statue. Yeah, and Rock can sculpt it after the big game. doing? Oh, you're sculpting a new statue? Oh, no, no, no. No, don't come over. Uh, I'd like to run over there and take a look at it. See you then. Sit, sit down. I'll be doing a minute. I, uh, passed the gym on my way over here tonight. 
They were having a uh, big pep rally before the game tomorrow. Were they? Yes. Rock, you can be frank with me. Deep down inside, don't you really wish you were playing in that game tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I do, kind of. But it's like you said, Kathy. I'm an artist now. Don't you think you're uh, avoiding a moment of truth? Hmm? Well, an artist just can't create. He has to experience. Experience what? Life. Eat, sleep, fall in love. Play football. <laughs> I already had that experience. True. But an artist must live his life to the fullest. Really? Well, of course. Well, look at Hemingway. He stalked lions in Africa. And uh, uh, Lord Byron fought wars for Greek independence. And Tolstoy... And what'd he do? Uh, whatever the life force told him was right. <laughs> Gee, Kathy, I've never heard you talk like that before. You sound like a different person. <laughs> I just want you to uh, pull through yourself. Well, we're going to have to get this thing tuned. <laughs> Say, it's almost 9 o'clock. I thought you said Rock was coming over. Oh, you know, Artis, he's probably lost in his work. Well, why don't you call him up? I was thinking I might take a walk over there. I have a better idea. I'll drive you. Would you? Why not? I'd like to see some of his work myself. All right. Okay, let's go through it again. <clears throat> again. 11, 78, 44, 22. All right, hey! this, this starts out as a run to the left. I figure to the halfback and I get to the fullback. Good. And... 31, 39, 55, 74, hey! I, I, I fake, and then run, starts out as a fake and run, and then I fake back for a long pass. And... Hello. Kathy. Hey, there are two of you Kathys. What's going on? Well, I have a theory, Rock, but perhaps Patty would like to explain. Patty? Mm-hmm. Pat, you didn't. Shall we say I nearly did? Is that all you have to say? I did it for the old school. I wanted to see us win. It's a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done before. Oh, boy, am I ever sorry I did it. <laughs> Are you When Rock got away and the three guys almost had him and he yeah. still made it? Yeah. <laughs> It was a great game, Rock. Thanks, Mrs. Lane. I'm glad you decided to play Rock. A man should use all his talents. That's just what I told him last night. I said, Rock... <clears throat> I'd like to see Michelangelo throw a touchdown pass like that. Wait till next year, boy. Uh, Mr. Tugwell, you better brace yourself again. Uh, there's not going to be any next year. I'm transferring to Brooklyn Polly. Brooklyn Polly? You're joking. They don't even have a football team. Yeah, I know. But boy, what an art department. Here's Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. But they're cousins, identical cousins, and you'll find. They laugh alike, they walk alike, at times they even talk alike. You can lose your mind.
manager, I'm proud to introduce one of our school's all-time gridiron greats, Gilbert Tugwell. Yeah! Mr. Tugwell has gone on to win his letter in the game of life, but he still recalls the days when he captained our undefeated team of 1917. Yeah! Yeah! 1937. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 1937, that is. All right, gang. Mr. Gilbert T. for touchdown, Tugwell! Yeah! world but gang believe me life to me is just one big football game yeah! but gang, 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 listen i appreciate the fight to stay on top and you know that's what this team is going to do yeah! so gang, now i say to you in the immortal words of old Coach Hanson, hit him high, hit him low, hit him hard, and... Go, go, go! Yeah, go, go, go! Yeah! All right, gang, here he is, our quarterback and captain, the finest athlete to ever wear the red and gold, Rock Malankovich! Hi. I ain't much uh, for, for making speeches, but I'll tell you one thing. We're, we're going to beat Eastern. Meet Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. But they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. One pair of matching bookends, different as night and day. Where Kathy adores a minuet, the ballet russe, and crepe Suzette. Our Patty loves to rock and roll, a hot dog makes her lose control. What a wild duet, still they're cousins, identical cousins and you find. They laugh alike, they walk alike, at times they even talk alike, you can lose your mind when cousins are two of a kind. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rock. Hey, congratulations. Huh? Oh, thanks. Kath, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Rock Milankovic. How do you do? Hello. Arrested, Rock. What do you have, pal? Oh, nothing. I'm in training. <laughs> Is, uh, Rock your real name? Mm, no. It's, um, Myron. Well, Myron's a very nice name. It's an old Greek name. Is it? Who told you? Oh, I read it somewhere. Uh, Kathy's always reading some book. She's the smartest girl in school. I'll bet. Rock, you were absolutely sensational Saturday. When you came out of that T-formation and through that lateral, Thanks. that blocking... Uh, did you see the game? No, I'm afraid not. Oh. Uh, would you like to be my guest at the game next Saturday? That's very nice of you, but uh, I really don't know anything about football. <laughs> That's our cast. If you were to ask her to a chess match... I can't even play checkers. Rock, level with me. 
How does it look for Saturday? Do you think we'll beat Central? Uh, defensively, of course, I know they're very strong. But our team has such spirit and drive. We'll clobber them. But I ask myself, what good is it? Great game. Okay, guys, grab a fast shower. Coach wants to see you. I gotta oh. talk to you. Hello, sir. What are you doing here? Well, I decided to watch practice today. And a good thing, too. Richard, what's wrong with our boy Rock? Beats me. He's been in a slump all week. Did you see that pass he dropped? I gotta call it with my teeth. Oh, is that the way you did it way back in your day? That's just an expression. And it wasn't so way back. Well, never mind about that. What's ailing Rock? How you feeling, Rocco boy? Oh, fine. You see? I told you you can't get through to him. Well, naturally. What's needed is someone with tact and understanding. Okay, but who do we get? <laughs> How's it going, boy? Swell, Mr. Tugwell. Everything all right at home? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you keeping up with your schoolwork? Uh-huh. Rock boy, you can level with me. What's, what's bothering you, boy? Nothing, Mr. Tugwell. Rock, I'm talking to you as if I were your own father. Yeah. You even yell like him. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I gotta go shower. I told you. There's no getting through. I don't believe it. What? I know what's bugging Rock. Look. Hey, that's Kathy Lane. Rock must have clipped this picture out of the class book. He's in love with her. Hey, our troubles are over. Go call Kathy up and tell her the good news. I don't think it's that simple, sir. I don't think Rock is Kathy's type. What do you mean, not her type? A boy who can take out three men with one block? <laughs> Kathy just doesn't dig football. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Go on over and straighten her out. OK, I'll try, but I'm telling you, Kathy just doesn't care about football. Then talk some sense into her. Tell her that she's got to start being nice to Rock, or else. Or else what? Or else we could lose every game this season. I'm sure Rock is a very nice boy. Take my word for it, Kath. He's a prince. But he just isn't my type. Kathy, nobody's asking you to marry Rock. We just want you to date him for a little while. Yeah, just till the end of the season. And suddenly drop him? That wouldn't be very nice. Well, you never know. You might get to like him. Patty, I wouldn't even know what to talk to him about. All he cares for is football. And you don't know anything about football. Okay, I'll teach you. Look, there are 11 guys on a team. Most girls and they be a big deal to go out with all rock. Over it. And the, the main idea is to get as many touchdowns as possible. You'd be the envy of the whole team. Either by throwing a forward pass or running with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, Richard, please listen to me. I'm not trying to be difficult. But why should I go out with Rock if I don't want to? I'll tell you why. Because you owe it to the school. The school? <laughs> Kathy, do you realize that with Rock on our team, this could be the most glorious year in the history of Brooklyn Heights High? Brooklyn Heights, my Because Brooklyn Heights, Heights isn't just Brooklyn classrooms Heights, with books and homework. Brooklyn it's a spirit, a bond, Brooklyn a sacred Heights, flame that is burning right now in all our classrooms. I mean, in we'll our hearts. And right now, Kathy, Kathy you are the keeper of the flame. You want to nourish and cherish it, or are you going to let it go out and turn to bitter 